Senior defense leaders were on Capitol Hill today to discuss what effect sequestration will have if it is not halted before October 1st. Commandant of the Marine Sequestration by its scale and inflexibility will significantly stress our force, degrade readiness, and create a significant risk to our national security. All at a time of strategic rebalancing, all done on a world stage that is chaotic and volatile. China's leaders in 2012 sustained investment in its nuclear forces, short and medium range conventional ballistic missiles, advanced aircraft, unmanned air systems, air and missile defenses, land attack and anti-ship cruise missiles, submarines and surface combatants. Funding shortfalls will cause our unit at home to cut back training and maintenance. As I look at the readiness indicators of our surface ships today, and the likely scenarios that we are forecasting on our sequestered budget in fiscal year 14, I am very concerned. Further, accounts and activities we were able to protect in 2013, such as manpower, nuclear maintenance, and critical fleet operations, will be liable to reduction. Navy leaders also say pilots will get less flight time and ships will get less time out at sea because of the budget cuts. Presence remains our mandate. This is what we're mostly about, and it's a central element of our defense strategic guidance. Presence remains our mandate. 